This looks like a spaceship. Like one of those Star Wars enemy motherships. Now I'm not gonna lie. I always thought Vivo Sun was the bottom of the barrel when it comes to grow equipment. But lately, not only are they not the bottom, but they've been pushing this bar forward. This is not just the panel light. It also has two fans to improve the airflow in your tent and sides that you can angle out. A big problem that growers have is that corners don't get enough light, but since you can angle these, at least you could get better coverage on two sides. Another amazing feature is the ability to choose one of three phases in this light. That's sproutling, vegetative, and flowering phase. This triggers different diodes to turn on to change the light spectrum. For sproutlings and veg, you could see more blue hues, whereas bloom has a lot more reds, which is optimal and backed by scientific data. This light could be controlled by either purchasing a separate controller or through the included dongle, which lets you control the light via the Vivo Sun app. The app actually gives you better control because on it, you could set a specific power percentage from 25 to 100, whereas the controller has fixed settings of 25, 40, 60, 80, and 100% lighting. The same applies with the fans, where you could choose from 0 to 10 on the app versus 0 to 5 on the controller. But the controller could also be controlled with the app. The app features recipes, which lets you preset different settings depending on the stage, and that's going to automatically respond to changes in your environment measured by the probe. All right, so this is the confusing thing. There's a bunch of different versions of this light. There's the SE model, and then there's the regular that's only available on the site. The regular AW400 has the LM301H diodes, okay? But... There is no package that comes with this controller. So you would either have to buy the light plus this separately or get the bundle with the controller. Now, $379 on the site with the coupon code How We Grow is going to bring this down to $322.15 versus the inferior LM301B model, which is $299 on a Black Friday deal on Amazon. This comes with the E25 controller, but they're inferior in terms of efficiency. So I would just get it on the site, mostly because that probe lets you respond to your environment. Now on another video, I talk about the only two measurements that matter with lights. That's the lowest setting and the highest setting. So I measured these out in a 4x4 tent. And when starting Sproutlings, I like to hit around 250 ppfd right in the center. For this light, the lowest setting of your grow is going to be 25% on the sproutling mode, 20.5 inches away. The highest setting is around week three to seven in bloom at 88% on the bloom mode at 16 inches away. This will give you an average of around 800 ppfd. If you're manually using the controller, 100% at 17.5 inches away will get you 800 ppfd. The last thing I want to tap on is heat because I've seen reviews say that this light gets hot. It doesn't. Not compared to every other panel light that I tested. The average temperature that goes up is 12 degrees whereas this only goes up a little over 10 degrees in a sealed tent with no inline fan. Now I let Vivo Sun know that if they send me anything, it's gonna be an honest review. And honestly, this is a great light and a huge step up for my perception of them as a brand. If you value this content, like, subscribe, and hit that bell.